Hello students, hope you all are doing good. This is Priyanka from Sandpoint Institute, Balagami. So in today's video, I will be discussing around 30 important MCQs with respect to the subject Environmental Studies. And definitely these questions will be helping you for AERWS as well as AERWS. So before discussing these 30 MCQs, I would like to give some information with respect to the environmental studies syllabus for AWE. Okay, so in my previous video also I had explained the same thing. Whatever this is the syllabus of AWE and whatever is the yellow color part of this AWE syllabus is there that is already available in AE syllabus because this syllabus is common for AE as well as AWE. So this is environmental engineering. All this yellow part is covered. Purple is not covered. Same way with sanitary engineering and here I am giving more uh, importance on the environmental studies syllabus. So this yellow color is already covered and the purple color is not yet covered. So we will be covering this syllabus also and if you see here, okay, this is the environmental studies that is uh, the next part of the environmental studies which is called as environment management. So this yellow color part is already covered which is in the AE package. But this purple color is not yet covered and this I had informed you one week ago. But today if you see, I have already completed all these topics, dark blue color, whatever is visible to you. So all these topics are already covered and uploaded. So what you can do is you can just open our portal on stream.sandpoint.co.in. You can click the courses here. So you can click here again and if you see this environmental studies. So each and everything of AE is covered here as well as common which is there with respect to AE. AWE is also available here. But whatever this new for AWE is there, we have uploaded here. So you can see all these topics are uploaded and within less than one week, the remaining part of this, you can see here, the remaining purple color, whatever is there, this part, this part, as well as this part of environmental studies. Okay, so this remote sensing, GIS and advanced in energy systems. So all this will be covered within less than one week for environmental studies, AWE. And this subject is given for free. You need not pay anything extra for this. And again, one thing I want, uh, want to stress upon here is, so if you see this part of the syllabus, okay, this one, let me change uh, the color, moral values, ethics and all. So actually all this is the part of the construction technology and management. Okay. Actually these topics should have been pasted in this construction technology and management part of CTM. But they have copy pasted here in environmental management. But no worries. We will be covering these topics also and uploading in the same syllabus content. So that when you see the syllabus of this, you should not have any confusion that these topics are not covered, but practically speaking, these are the topics of construction technology and management. So if you want to join this course, you can just click here straight away and register here. Once you do the registration, you will get the email verification. Once you do the email verification, directly you will be redirected to the payment gateway. You can make the payment and start accessing the video lectures. And whatever 1,500 1, rupees worth the test series is there, so you can see this package. So this package will be provided for free for the students who have joined this RWS video lectures. So whichever course you join, whether you join PGCET or whether you join SSE or even if you join this RWS plus KR IDL, the test series of worth 1,500 rupees will be for free. The reason why I'm stressing upon this is once the student go through this portal, they will not get to know that whether these test series are included or whether they have to pay extra. You need not pay extra, everything is covered in this only. So now let's start discussing the MCQs. So let's read the first question that is, what is the theme of World Earth Day of the year 2022? Okay, so this is GK question also. So you should be knowing the answer already. So what are the options? Invest in our planet, restore our Earth, Climate action, protect our species. So in answer, it is option A that is invest in our planet. So let's understand some information about this. 
ओके सो इयर थीम दट इज वर्ल्ड ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू इनवेस्ट इन अवर प्लैनेट अतिथु वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस इट इज कॉलिंग फॉर द बिजनेस टू शिफ्ट टूवर्ड्स द सस्टेनेबल प्रैक्टिस सी वॉट आर द कॉर्पोरेट्स आर देर वॉट एवर द बिजनेस आर देर दे शुड ट्राई शिफ्टिंग टू द सस्टेनेबल प्रैक्टिस विच आर एको फ्रेंडली एंड डजेंट हार्म द एनवायरमेंट and these are the long term practices also that is sustainable so this earth day is celebrated every year on april 22nd even you should remember this date because even this can be asked even in your gs also so what is the main purpose of celebrating this world earth day every year so it gives us the reminder to protect the environment restore the damaged ecosystems and to live a more sustainable life so this is the main purpose of celebrating the world earth day okay so this year you lot of you have put the status of save soil so april 22nd ekka yesterday jana new save soil at the status agidre gotirbek nimaga so that is the initiation which is taken by the isha foundation by sadguru because in this chapter you have studied how the top soil or the fertile soil is very very important and because of disturbing the ecosystem and all how the top soil is losing its value or how it is flowing away or how it is getting wasted so that is the reason save soil anodu esto jana promote madidru ee year world earth day valaga even lot of colleges also celebrated this day okay so hope you have understood the meaning of this so idrola yenittu this year so from this what you have to understand is make a table of at least around 10 to 15 years theme with respect to world earth day okay so last year in it to 2021 olaga mostly restore our earth annudittu so same way previous year it to climate action protect our species so yad yad year daga en en theme it annudu you make the list and remember that list okay so now let's read this next question that is the protocol which decided to completely phase out cfcs so cfcs are in a chlorofluorocarbons सो या प्रोटोकॉल वायतु प्रोटोकॉल अंदर इंटरन्शनल ट्रीटी सो इफ यू रीड द ऑप्शन दट इज काटेगेन प्रोटोकॉल स्टॉक होम कन्वेन्शन मॉन्ट्रियल प्रोटोकॉल क्यूटो प्रोटोकॉल सो वॉट इज द आंसर हियर इट इज ऑप्शन सी दट इज मॉन्ट्रियल प्रोटोकॉल सो मॉन्ट्रियल इट इज अ प्लेस इन केनडा एक्चुअली सो मॉन्ट्रियल प्रोटोकॉल ऑन सब्सटेंस दट डिप्लीट द ओजोन लेयर इज अ ग्लोबल एग्रीमेंट टू प्रोटेक्ट द अर्थ ओजोन लेयर बै फेजिंग आउट द केमिकल that depleted so main purpose en ittu montreal protocol addu to protect the ozone layer that's it okay so how this ozone layer can be protected by reducing the chlorofluorocarbons which are emitted into the atmosphere so what was the main purpose of this cartagena protocol it was because of the biosafety or biological diversity stockholm convention en ittu it was mainly targeted on the pollution so kyoto protocol it was mostly targeted on the climate change okay so from this question what you have to understand is so try listing all the conventions all the protocols and what are the main purposes of those protocols and when it was launched so let's read the next question the upright pyramid of numbers is absent in lake pond grassland forest so here the correct answer is option d that is forest so upright pyramid in ecosystem wala kaltire so this is upright pyramid so in lakes pond grassland so the pyramid is in this shape only but if you see the forest so it is a combination of upright as well as inverted so let's see here okay so if you see the first one that is this type of pyramid so let me erase this so if you see a1 that is the grassland ecosystem and pond ecosystem will be of this one so grassland adrana first hull irtavu adar mel solp doddu animals irtavu adar mele you will find secondary consumers above that you will find the tertiary consumers so when you see the pond ecosystem so very small aquatic animals will be there plants and animals so adar kitta bigger adar kitta bigger adar kitta bigger and when you see d1 that is parasite ecosystem so parasite adana you know, which grows or which depends on the others so ill sikkapati hulugol irtavu they are the tertiary consumers adarkita kammi secondary consumers adarkinta kammi herbivores and next comes the tree here but when you see the forest ecosystem here so you can see one tree is there 
so on that one tree there can be many many birds okay and again there can be these animals which depend on these birds or which eats these birds so adar mein lijo so that is the reason this is the combination of both upright as well as the inverted type of the ecosystem so that's why it is called as the spindle shape so try understanding because i i have to give you the explanation of why this is the correct answer so now let's read the next question so which of the ecological pyramid is always upright so yavaga adrunu idu ecological pyramid upright irabeku so you have studied already there are different types of pyramids which are designed based on the biomass based on the energy based on the numbers so if you see here the correct answer is option b that is pyramid of energy so if you see here biomass andre na you should be knowing the meaning is organic matter so it can be even upright as well as it can be even inverted also and if you see with respect to the pyramid of numbers it can be combination of both upright as well as inverted so in the previous forest you have studied so telagon dodad gida irathe adar mele birds irthav so it can be in the other way also but when we see about the energy it is always upright upright is a sharp edge or apex will come on the top so this is called as inverted so if you see here this diagram will give you the explanation that why the pyramid of energy is upright always so if you see there are lot of primary producers this is consumed by primary consumers again secondary consumers so as we go to the top level the energy starts reducing whichever the type of ecosystem you take the energy will start reducing because lot of energy is lost in the form of the heat as well as lot of energy also gets decomposed so that's why remember pyramid of energy is always upright so let's read the next question which of the following can act as a pioneer species in zarak succession so here the options are lichens humans herbs and animals so if you see the correct answer is option a that is lichens so let's understand the explanation of this so first let's understand the meaning pioneer species are an important species so what is the meaning of the term zarak succession so idr bage nan even video class olagunu explain madidni so how the forest will start growing first there will be very much bare rock here so after that lichens will start growing so lichens and the fungus you can see so which is having symbiotic activity okay so green color patch beledetla so adr mele lichens beledu break up start aagutte again some part of the soil is formed again the soil increases so as the depth of the soil or the quantity of the soil keep increasing the vegetation also keeps increasing so here the meaning of the term zero is dry so dry indra hang greener side hogtevu and for that what is important so this part that is lichens is very very important then only the conversion happens or else it will not happen okay so next question common indicator organism of water pollution is so ego on water pollute agate annodu ya water test madid kulle ya type of organism yes quantity irudindra na helthivu that is the water is polluted so if entomobiba histolica is present or if lemna is present or if acornia is present or if escherichia coli is present so idrole yavudu present ittandre we say that the water is polluted yes so the correct answer is escherichia coli so you should have heard the term of e coli bacteria even in environmental engineering also actually this lives in the intestine of the human beings and the presence of more quantity of this escherichia coli represents the water to be polluted with the fecal matter okay na so here the correct indicator of water pollution is e coli bacteria next question bhopal gas treasury of 1984 was caused by the leakage of which particular gas so methyl isocyanate or dichlorophenoxy acetic acid ammonia or hydrogen cyanide so leakage of yaud particular gas in the bhopal gas treasury aitu gotirbek nimaga so it is option a that is methyl isocyanate okay so on the night of 2nd december 1984 a gas leak at union carbide indian limited pesticide plant in bhopal led to the deaths of about 4000 people and adversely affected the health of the lakhs of people 
ಸೊ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಡಿಸೆಂಬರ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ಏಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಒಳಗೆ ಸೊ ಭೋಪಾಲ್ ಗ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟ್ರೆಜಿಡಿ ಆಗಿತ್ತು ಸೊ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸ್ಟಡೀಡ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಸೊ ಆ ಟೈಮ್ದಾಗ ದಿಸ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಗ್ಯಾಸ್ ಮಿಥೈಲ್ ಐಸೋಸೈನೇಟ್ ಲೀಕ್ ಆಗಿತ್ತು ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಗ್ಯಾಸ್ ಈಸ್ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಟಾಕ್ಸಿಕ್ ಕೆಮಿಕಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೀಮ್ಲಿ ಡೇಂಜರಸ್ ಟು ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಹೆಲ್ತ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಪೆಸ್ಟಿಸೈಡ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ವೇರ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಾಸ್ ದ ಮೇನ್ ಇನ್ಗ್ರೀಡಿಯಂಟ್ ಆರ್ ರಾ ಮಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾನುಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪೆಸ್ಟಿಸೈಡ್ ಸೊ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ which of the iso 14000 series of standards focuses on evaluation of environment performance so idrolaga yav daithi anodu so if you read this is the correct option okay so you might have studied about the various series of this iso with respect to the last chapter of this subject that is environmental management standards so this is one of the difficult chapter in this entire subject ಸೊ ಅದ್ರೊಳಗೆ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಮೆಮರಿ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಕೇಳ್ತಾರೋ ಯಾವ ಐ ಎಸ್ ಓ ಒಳಗೆ ಏನ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಪರ್ಪಸ್ ಇತ್ತು ಅನ್ನೋದು ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ಓಕೆ ದ ಮೇನ್ ಡಿಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಪ್ರೈಮರಿ ಏರ್ ಪೊಲ್ಯೂಟೆಂಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ರಿ ಏರ್ ಪೊಲ್ಯೂಟೆಂಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ವೆರಿ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಐತದು ಇವನ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿಡ್ ಇನ್ ಎನ್ವೈರ್ಮೆಂಟಲ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಏರ್ ಪೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಸೊ ಪ್ರೈಮರಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ರಿ ಏರ್ ಪೊಲ್ಯೂಟೆಂಟ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮರ್ ಆರ್ ರಿಲೀಸ್ಡ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ ಟು ದ ಅಟ್ಮಾಸ್ಫಿಯರ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ the primary air pollutant are directly released in the atmosphere while the latter latter is the next iddu that is the secondary air pollutant is formed by the chemical reactions in the atmosphere so because of the combination of these primary pollutants in the atmosphere in the presence of sunlight and water the chemical reactions happens and that leads to the formation of the secondary pollutants like acid rain as well as ozone so very simple question so that is the reason i didn't read out the options next question the atmospheric greenhouse effect is produced mainly due to so greenhouse effect to that is the increase in the temperature of the earth so yadar dintra aagtate so if you read the options the correct option is option c that is absorption and emission of infrared radiation by the atmosphere so all these radiations are the electromagnetic radiations which are having different wavelengths and which are emitted by the sun okay and the main purpose of this infrared radiation or it is also the synonym of the term heat wave so that is the reason because of the absorption and reemission of this infrared radiation greenhouse effects happens on the surface of the earth so let's read the next question how many biogeographical zones are there in india so nam country walaga different biogeographical zones anna divide madaru so what are they and all see if you have studied this subject then you can answer this questions very easily but if you haven't studied i feel you find all the questions very much new and very much different so 2 4 7 10 so the correct option is 10 that is there are 10 different biogeographical zones so nam country walaga based on the type of the flora and fauna they have classified the biogeographical zones even it includes the similar climatical condition also so if first one in it is trans himalayan region okay illiost barathi here also it is second one is himalayan zone this part this part and this part third one is indian desert zone fourth one is semi arid region fifth one is western ghats sixth one is deccan plateau seventh one is gangetic plain ganga river hrdaytili eighth one is north eastern region this part as well as this part also ninth one coastal region tenth one andaman and nicobar islands okay so idu new desert athilkore so here the rainfall the climatical conditions the type of the plants the type of animals remains the same here but when we see here they are different so considering those similar characteristics of a particular region the different biogeographical zones have been classified and there are 10 zones so remember this next question the air act was enacted in dash and amended in dash so the air prevention and control act anudu and rule pass madidro okay by the central pollution control board so this we have studied again in the last chapter that is environment management standards so was enacted andra yavaga it came into existence so that happened in the year 1981 let me mark here okay and it was amended that is some modification madidru 
in the year 1987 so the same way there is for water as well as sound so try remembering them what is not the benefit of iso 14001 2015 so again all these are accreditations only so either the yavud benefit illa anudu not a benefit okay so you should read all these kind of terms very much properly in the exam so not kelaru or the benefit of kelaru that you have to understand first first option improve resource efficiency option 2 reduce waste option 3 drive down costs option 4 product design so this option that is this is not in the benefit of the iso 14001 so iso full form you should be knowing that is international organization for standardization and this particular standardization is for an effective environmental management systems so the main purpose of this particular certification or the standard is to clarify the best practices for organizations that wish to reduce their environmental footprint by adopting an effective environmental management system so again last chapter we gin kaltidvi namo so different methods of the environment management systems and if we go with this particular plan or the standards then that particular organization or will cause very less impact on the environment next who proposed the term ecosystem gotirbeko so it is ag tensley and ep odam is known as the father of modern ecology so try remembering this also so ecosystem main anodu nan ivu madla explain madeni so you can watch all the lectures which we have uploaded in our youtube channel and more number of lectures that is more than 90% what are available in the in the youtube channel of this particular environment studies playlist are available in the portal next question what is an industrial symbiosis so most of you might be hearing the term for the first time let's read the options here when industries cooperative sector produced a product by one of them is part of a larger product produced by the other option b when industries cooperate by integrating environmental work so that a common environmental management system is established option c when industries cooperate so that the waste of one serve as the input in the production of the others as for example heat next option d when industries operate without any chemical pollution so nimge yavudu confusion agithiga like you are not able to give the correct answer but here if you had known the meaning of the term symbiosis symbiosis andana mutual benefit ee one cattle irathi bird banda a cattle olagind hula ella tintathi so that is called as the symbiotic relationship so both of them are dependent so you a word the new meaning gotit andra then without understanding all this or without even knowing this entire subject you could have answered this answer very much directly that is when both the industries work hand in hand and when the waste of one will be utilized by the other industry then that is called as the industrial symbiosis so when industries cooperate so that the waste of one serve as the input in the production of the others as for example heat or i can give you one simple example also ee sugar cane industry walaga raw material sugar cane irutte so adrinta nimage sugar cane juice as well as sugar as well as the waste product molasses is formed and this molasses and waste sugar cane juice can be used in the manufacture of the biofuel which is called as ethanol so one the industry is the waste to in on the industry is a resource akati so this particular relation is called as the symbiotic relation between the industries but once other industries linear system and linear system are they use the natural resources or the raw materials and the products and wastes are generated so the products are consumed by the human beings and waste gets released in the atmosphere without being utilized further but here symbiotic olaga both of them will work hand in hand this is the meaning of the term industrial symbiosis next question is on match the following so again the act whatever i have told earlier so in which year these acts were particularly launched so that is what is the match the following so hence you have to understand all these acts and try understanding the purpose of them and when they were launched so if you see here the correct option is option b okay so you can just mark and you can try remembering the years next question is iso 14001 gives stress on so yavudakka idu importance kodutati whether it gives stress on plan do check act 
और ऑन एनवायरमेंटल प्रोटेक्शन और प्रिवेंशन रेदर देन डिटेक्शन और प्रिवेंट पॉल्यूशन सो याद मेल ऐसे सो इट इज ऑन प्लान डू चेक एक्ट सो इवन दिस क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम द लास्ट चैप्टर दैट इज एनवायरमेंटल मैनेजमेंट स्टैंडर्ड सो फर्स्ट दे विल प्लान दैट इज दे विल हैव द ऑब्जेक्टिव एंड ऑल आफ्टर दैट दे विल इंप्लीमेंट आफ्टर दैट दे विल क्रॉस चेक विथ वॉट एवर दे हैव इंप्लीमेंटेड इज राइट और रॉन्ग and they will make the changes accordingly and they will act and this cycle keeps continuing so for this even i had given the example of the student when i was teaching this particular chapter so new you have the exam prepare i have considered under first you will take the syllabus you will see previous questions you will collect the materials you will plan after that you will start studying here after that you will give the tests so based on what errors you are committing you will make some strategy changes in your preparation and again this keeps continuing so this is called an plan do check act and this is given for any of the organization by this iso to work efficiently so next question which of the following is true about the water act 1974 so illa certain characteristics of this act is given so if we read here then option d is right that is all options are right so water act prohibits any person from knowingly causing or permitting the entry of any poisonous or noxious or polluting matter directly or indirectly into any system or well or sewer or on land second point is the water act establishes the central pollution control board at national level and state pollution control board at the state level and pollution control committee at the state or the union territory level to carry out the objectives of this water act and the third point is the function of the cpcb that is central pollution control board is to plan and execute a nationwide program for the prevention control and abatement of water pollution abatement other than reduction of the water pollution so here all three points are right and they come under the water act of the year 1974 so next question which of the following is an extinct species extinct species other than e particular prani athwa pakshi whatever it is that so it is not alive now avu available illa those are called as extinct species so even this can be asked in general studies paper also so the options are dugong great indian bustard dodo red panda so here the correct option is option c that is dodo so e birds so so you nimaga sigudiliga earth mela so completely they are extinct and they were endemic to the island of the mauritius so mauritius ಒಳಗೆ ಇದ್ದು ಇವು endemic ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಏನು ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಅಷ್ಟ ಇದ್ವು ಬೇರೆ ಕಡೆ ಇರಲಿಲ್ಲ that is what is the meaning of the term endemic now what is dugong so it is a type of the dolphin so which is this great indian bustard it is a bird which lives in thar desert then red panda is an himalayan animal very small red color panda kind of kind of the animal is there so you murunu they are also at the verge of the extinction and they are available very few that is finger countable less than 100 numbers you other three are also there and they might become extinct if they are not maintained within 5 to 10 years public liability insurance act of the year 1991 provide for damages to victims of an accident which occurs as a result of what so option a handling hazardous substance natural disaster road accidents loss of the property is due to communal rights so idr olaga public liability insurance act annodu yavudakka consider aagtethe so it is for the handling hazardous substance so if one industry olaga do if any some mishappening happens and if get it gets blasted something like that if there are any casualty or fatality they will get the financial assistance through this insurance scheme launched by the government okay which color is used for radiation hazards so we have studied in the environmental engineering also that different types of the waste represents the different colors for the proper classification and for the proper treatment methodologies like the waste represents red color green color yellow color purple color and all ig radiation hazard anodu ya color dag now represent martivu yes it is represented with purple color okay na something like this next question one carbon credit is accepted as equivalent of andre yen idrud meaning one carbon credit is equal to what at and question kelaru so here the correct answer is 
1000 kg of carbon dioxide that is 1 ton of carbon dioxide so now let's understand what is the meaning of this actually so this is very very interesting concept carbon credit and also very interesting concept i am not sure whether you are aware of this or whether you are hearing this term for the first time so carbon credit and reina first you think what you have to remember is it is one ton of the carbon dioxide emitted in the atmosphere or 1000 kg so it can be either carbon dioxide or it can be either combination of any greenhouse gases so when we talk about the carbon credit there are two terms one term is called as cap another term is called as trade so cap and trade concept and you know e cap and reina maximum value every country give whoever are there in this scheme so every country give one higher value kotar avaro like this country can produce these many tons of carbon dioxide only per year not more than this so more than this and the fine bill the tower again okay so this is called as cap now let's understand what is the meaning of the term trade so to understand this trade let's understand a simple example if for example india ka 1000 tons of the carbon dioxide produce madodu permission kotaro and assume that this year 900 tons of the carbon dioxide is been emitted from the by the india so what is the balance 100 tons of the carbon dioxide is the balance okay so 100 tons is equal to how much 100 carbon credits okay now with respect to this one so now what india can do is we can trade this 100 carbon credits to the developed countries or to the countries who cannot reduce their carbon dioxide emission so e 100 carbon credit anu to nam avrige free ag kodudilla so they have to pay for that so because of which what will happen we our country will earn more money as well as we will try reducing the emission of the gases in the atmosphere and as i mentioned this can be carbon dioxide or any other greenhouse gases so how we can reduce by implementing any of the new technologies and all so adanna now madudintra enagutti we can have the newer or cleaner atmosphere in our country as well as we can earn more money also okay na so this is what the concept carbon credit mean so the same thing is explained here you can read okay so this this can be asked even in current affairs part also so try understanding some more points with respect to carbon credit andra yav yav countries ada with the list olaga which country has maximum carbon credit in that so i think mostly china okay so india is yes percentage athi us is yes percentage athi australia is yes athi try remembering all those statistics fine next what percentage of oxygen and carbon dioxide exists in the atmosphere so in nam current ecosystem or atmosphere olaga yes percentage of oxygen carbon dioxide aithi yes so it is 20.9% of the oxygen and 0.03% of the carbon dioxide you can see here pink color okay remember this statistics the natural residence of every organism is known as so you got organism one particular location wala irtartavo like camels lives in deserts okay some grasshoppers and all live in grasslands aquatic life lives in the ocean or lakes like water ecosystem ega animals and all they live in forest okay so that is called as the natural residence so this is also known as habitat fine so here all the definitions are explained so you can read all the definitions so even i have covered all of them while explaining this particular subject in which of the following conference following principle highlighted polluter pays the principle so you know like many conferences were conducted considering the climate change global warming environmental pollution and how each country can reduce or can contribute in the development of the environment so ya yeah, conference olaga main principle highlight madidru like polluter pays principle polluter pays principle andre na if for example when the other uh like if you see uh if one country is exporting oil or something through a ship okay then if that gets explored or if the oil gets leaked in the 
ocean so that time that should be cleaned completely that company the transport company should clean completely or they have to pay the money for the people who got affected from that so this is concept is called as polluter pays andra yaar pollute madirtarala avra pay martaru so this principle was mainly targeted in rio conference which was conducted in the year 1992 okay so you can read few points with respect to this particular conference next question which is the most recent pronouncements of the government's commitments to improving environmental conditions so nam country do environmental conditions improve madu samanda yav policy came into effect so it was national environmental policy that is nep which was launched in the year 2000 next ringelmann scale is used to measure the density of what so here it is used to measure the density of smoke okay so let's understand what is this if for from industries from vehicles and all you see lot of smoke getting emitted in the atmosphere so they will compare the color of that the density the thickness of that with respect to the 1 to 5 scale okay so e color match akkit andre smoke so it is one so adarkinta jaasti idra two adarkinta jaasti and when it comes to five scale it is 100% so the meaning of here 100% is completely opaque okay like you can see here opacity is opaque andre na yenu kaanudilla ast thick pollution aithi but when it is 20% it is little visible it is adarkinta kami visibility kami visibility kami visibility illi banda zero visibility so this concept was given by ringelmann and mainly it is used to measure the density of the smoke that is the nearness of the smoke particles in a particular area this is called as density next stone cancer of taj mahal is primarily due to the pollution from so we had studied in air pollution as well as we had studied even the uh, what we call it as a case study okay of taj mahal pollution so what was the main reason for that it was because of the emission from the mathura refinery so you know mathura is very close to agra so oil refinery din tar en gas emit aakaitala because of which the taj mahal color is getting depleted or it is getting darkened something like this so earlier it was like this but now the color of taj mahal is like this so this is called as the this term is or this process or phenomena is named as marble cancer the environmental kuznets curve ekc shows the relationship between per capita gdp and environmental loss so what is the shape of this particular curve either the shape hangaiti so the shape of this is inverted u you can see here it is inverted u so the x axis here shows the gdp of any particular country and y axis shows that the level of environmental degradation so idrolage enagutti nam income heads adanga adanga environmental pollution also gets increased that is degradation increases because of the industrialization and all increases but when it reaches certain point it will reach the peak so where the environmental degradation is maximum but gdp is something like this and after this point what happens is gdp keeps increasing but the environmental degradation or the pollution keeps reducing so this is what this curve represents but this is a debatable theory like it 100% prove akkait anudilla because when the profit or when the income of any particular country increases obviously the level of environmental degradation also increases so we have studied in the chapters of this subject like the developed countries itself contribute lot in the factors which increases the world pollution so that's the reason this is a debatable concept like it correct follow up to you know no we are not sure next eia is defined as so eia and then environmental impact assessment so under a now so if you see all the options here the correct answer is option a that is it is the process of identifying predicting and evaluating the impacts of a proposed project so you go and they'll bridge construct made by cantaro at the dam construct made by cantaro or highway in the forest area and all so whatever the evaluation of the impact of that of a new project is done 
so that is called as environmental impact assessment so which is a mandatory process before the start of any particular project green muffler is related to so i am not sure whether you have heard this term so it is related to noise pollution actually okay that is with respect to the reduction of the noise pollution so here what they will do is they will plant the rows of the trees of around 4 to 6 rows of the trees which break the noise and because of which the noise pollution gets reduced and most commonly the type of the plants used are ashoka plant as well as the neem plant next a nation that destroys its soil destroys itself okay forests are the lungs of our land purifying the air and giving fresh strength to our people so yaar helar idna so this was told by franklin d roosevelt so he was 32nd american president so even currently also sadguru is behind this save soil on the concept so if we don't protect the soil then we will be losing all the vegetation okay what is negative soil pollution so negative soil pollution andre na so it indicates a reduction in the soil productivity due to erosion and overuse of the soil so this is called as negative soil pollution so nimm subject easy anaste irabodu but these are all the new concepts okay so that is the reason i told you you have to study this subject thoroughly it is not at all a difficult subject there are no numericals nothing very simple but all these terms are new and you can expect lot of questions from this subject in upcoming rws exam and whatever the video lectures i have uploaded with respect to this particular subject in our channel sign point on stream youtube channel they are hardly 2 to 3% of the entire syllabus so the entire syllabus of this is available in our onstream.sandpoint.co.in portal let me write here so this is onstream.sandpoint.co.in you will find the link given in description also just click that link you will see all the details about this okay in coal fire power plant electrostatic precipitators are installed to control the emission of what okay so you should have studied about the electrostatic precipitators which works on the concept of the opposite charges attraction so usually el power plant or coal use martarala as the source of the heat supply so early suspended particulate matter that is very fine particles are liberated into the atmosphere so as to reduce or remove the suspended soil particles from the atmosphere we use electrostatic precipitators 